Hey everyone. In this video, I'm gonna go through setting up DNS over HTTPS, so it encrypts your DNS traffic so it can't be seen. But I'm not just gonna do it on this browser. I'm not just gonna do it on this system. I'm gonna do it for the whole network. So there'll be a lot of packet captures and things in this video, but it should be good. So let's get into it. Okay, I'll start with a bit of a diagram. Here I have this desktop, desktop, the computer that I'm on. And somewhere over here I have a router. And somewhere over here I have Pi-hole as my DNS server because it's an ad blocker. So that's my home network. And to go a bit further, within the desktop I have the browser. So my browser is there. Now when the desktop gets its IP address, it gets it from the router via DHCP. And in there is a message saying for DNS use 192.168.4.10 which is this thing so 192.168.4.10 it says use that as your DNS server now when the browser wants to go to something like Google let's say the browser says right I need to find the address for it so it goes to the DNS server it goes to pie hole it tells me yeah okay you use that here's its IP address and then it can make the connection out through the router and go to Google. Now Pihole obviously looked that up to give it the address, so it had to find it out. But the reason Pihole's here is to just block ads. So when browsers are looking for things that might be an ad, Pihole can block that. But at the end of the day, it's just a DNS server. All right, what I'll do is a DHCP request, even though I've already done it before, so you're not gonna see the discover. But I just wanna show you what comes from the DHCP server. So you can see here, it got given the address 192.168.4.10 to use as a domain name server. Okay, so that's that message saying, okay, this is your DNS server. Okay, now in the browser for DNS over HTTPS, the default means just use whatever. So if I go to a website like, I don't know, Google, you'll see that a whole bunch of DNS requests went out, as, as you expect, going to, do, going to Google and everything else. So that's that, and if I go to another one, let's say, I don't know, bomb.gov.au when it comes up it doesn't come up because government can't make a website but you'll see it did the look up here so that sort of shows what's going on there so what you can see is it went to 4.10 which is my dns server so you know the browser went there 4.10 asked where it was and then it could go on its merry way now i'm going to start a packet capture on the wan side of my router so when pihole does a dns lookup it has to still go through the router and send something out here and what I'm looking at out here is UDP port 53, which is DNS. Okay, so I've got Wireshark running on this machine as well and on the WAN side, and we'll put them together. So if I go speedtest.net, okay, obviously the query came up here on the LAN side, and I'll check the WAN as well. Now I'll just quickly show you on Pihole, my DNS server, it's using 1111, which is Cloudflare for its upstream DNS server. Okay, so here what I've got is DNS on the WAN and DNS on the LAN. So you can see they correspond pretty much. Now the, the client on the LAN side was asking that a number of times, but once Pihole got it, it didn't need to go out to the net anymore. But what you can clearly see is all this stuff went straight out in clear over the WAN. So everything that's happening inside here just went straight out. It's all unencrypted. So it went from my address, which is 1234, honest, and came back from 1111, which is Cloudflare that it was looking it up. So basically everything you do goes out in the clear. All right, so back in Firefox for this DNS over HTTPS, I'm gonna enable it, put its max protection, and choose provider as Cloudflare. So this is for DNS over HTTP. Then back in the old diagram, what that means is this browser now is gonna set up a tunnel out here to Cloudflare, Cloudflare, their DNS, but it's gonna be HTTPS. HTTPS, which is encrypted. So instead of asking my little DH, DNS server here for the address of like Google or whatever, it's gonna ask through its tunnel to Cloudflare what it is. So it's gonna be encrypted. So I'll do that now. So on this machine here, I'll start my usual UDP port 53 capture. But over here, now it's using that, I'll go to something like willyweather.com.au. And you'll see now, it itself didn't come up. There was no bomb stuff here. Now what came up here was a couple of DNS entries asking Mozilla, which is Firefox, where Cloudflare's DNS is. So in that setting, that obviously says to use mozilla.cloudflare.dns, which it still does as a lookup, but that's the only thing you saw get looked up. 
So if I captured that on the WAN side, that would have gone out as well. So the ISP at the moment would have seen, ah, Mozilla Cloudflare is using HTTPS with Mozilla Cloudflare. But the actual things you're doing won't be on there. So if you went to something like, um, I don't know, cisco.com, let's have a look. You see, it didn't actually come up here, even though the site, slow as hell because it's Cisco. So I'll just get rid of that and do another one. Arubanetworks.com. Let's see. So it doesn't come up here, but you can still do stuff. So that's the theory of DNS over HTTPS. Now that's all good and well for that browser. That's beautiful. But what, what about everything else on the desktop here? So I've still got that packet capture running. What I'll do is I'll do a dig for google.com. So I'll just look it up directly here. And what you can see is it went straight to my normal DNS server, you know, 4.10. And on the WAN side, that would have gone out. So it doesn't really help for the rest of the system just because it's in the browser. So what I want to do, instead of having the browser go up to Cloudflare, I'll take that out. Bum, 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 bum. I've left Cloudflare written up there. Okay, Cloudflare is still up there. Right, but instead of coming from the browser just for it, I want to send it from the whole desktop up to Cloudflare. So how can I do that? Now the good people at Cloudflare have a program which is a Cloudflare tunnel and you can just install it here, which I've done. So you get a command now called Cloudflare D and I haven't given it any parameters, but what that will do is set up that tunnel from this desktop out to Cloudflare. Okay, so I can just run that here with proxy DNS and upstream use HTTPS uh, 11101 DNS query. The address, it'll just use its local host, but for a port, port, I'll go 5321. So that, you can see they're listening on the loopback address, just local here, and sending it up there. So what I'll do before I do much else, on here, I'll just do a packet capture for host 11111, right, all the ones. And then what I'll do is I'll do a DNS request for something like, I don't know, Google and I'll do it for the local host on port 5321 which is what I just did so what you'll see is I got my my answer back but if you have a look here I'll just go default here see what's going on this is what happened to host 1111 which is Cloudflare you'll see I'll just bring it all up nicely here do that do that do that to make a nice gap here okay so I did the usual sin sin ac ac did a certificate exchange, it's building up an HTTPS tunnel, which is encrypted. Now what you'll see over here is my time column, that's the time delta between packets. So you'll see every 15 seconds, it's doing a keep alive. That means that it doesn't have to do this whole initiation every time you do a, a DNS request. I mean, on a real life network, you've probably got lots of these going on. I've, I haven't set it up to do that yet, but you get the idea. It, every 15 seconds, it sends a keep alive. And I think after, I think it was 400 seconds or something, it ends up closing the session. But it keeps it there so that you don't have that excess at the start, the excess being a whopping 0 0.3, 0 0.03 seconds. Like it was quick anyway. So, but that's what that's all about. Now that's good and well for here. I can do that all day here using that, but I want to use Pihole as my DNS server. So you can guess what I've done, don't you? Instead of setting that up on this desktop, I have set it up on Pihole as well. So it can go there. So now I have that uh, Cloudflare running over here. Now I had to make it listen to that address, not just the loopback, so that it would accept requests from other things, because that's a Docker inside there. Even within itself, it had to allow it to 4.10. But anyway, I set that up. And now that goes out there from Pihole. Okay, so now on Pihole, instead of using upstream 1111 just raw, I'm going to use the custom one, which goes to that, that Cloudflare D. And I'll use 102.168.10, sorry, .4.10 as my listening address with port, which is a hash for some reason, 5321. Okay, and just save that. So now what I've got here is my WAN side looking at UDP port 53 for DNS. And now if I just do a normal lookup for, let's say, google.com, it comes back with no UDP 53 unencrypted DNS traffic going out. So back in the diagram, a host boots up, asks for DHCP, gets told to use Pihole. Pihole has a tunnel to Cloudflare. So anything on this network now goes through Pihole and uses Cloudflare. But that's only if they honor the DNS setting that comes from DHCP. So we're not finished yet. Here is a packet capture of my dash cam. 
and you can see it's going to destination 8888 even though that's not what it got told to use so that's been hard encoded into that device and there'll be other devices like that too for example this is one of the neighbors google nest things certainly not mine so you can see it obviously it's hard coded to 8888 which is google's dns so they're not honoring what's coming in from dhcp but we can fix that up too now if I do a DNS lookup here and go directly to those addresses, you'll see on the WAN side that it still goes out as normal unencrypted text because I've bypassed it like the dash cam and, and a Google device or God knows what else might do. So what I want to do is make that go down the tunnel on Pi-hole as well. So in OpenSense, I've got a port forwarding rule under NAT saying that if the interface is any of my internal interfaces, I've got a heap of them, but just your LAN side, if the traffic is UDP DNS, then I'm going to redirect that to 102.168.4.10, which is my Pi-hole DNS server. So regardless of where they thought they were going to go, I'm going to capture it and send them off to there. So I've enabled that rule. And now when I run it, you see nothing leaving the WAN side for, D for unencrypted DNS. So now I've got no leaking going on of DNS stuff. Now here's something I previously did. I left that on the other day, just for about a day just to confirm that there was no UDP 53 stuff going out. And I saw some packets on here and I thought, what does, what's going on? And of course they're coming towards me. So these are attempts from the outside world trying shit on my thing. Now these were always dropped by the firewall anyway, but it's just interesting now that they, they stand out nice and easily. You can see what sort of people are doing. If you sort by source, you'll see one of them comes up a few times. So you can see what they're doing. There's also this DNS scan and with a website telling you about them. But you can see what stuff is trying to look for a weak DNS server on the internet. So that's not related specifically to what I'm doing. It's just the fact that it's easy to notice there when all the other DNS noise is gone. So anyway, one last look at the my little diagram here. And what I've got going now is the client still gets its DNS server address from the router through DHCP, gets told to use Pi-hole. And it'll use that. It's got a tunnel out to Cloudflare. So no DNS leaves the router here. Also, if something tries to get tricky, like some little IoT device, and it tries to go to its own DNS thing, the router will capture that and say, ah, nah, sorry, son, you're going here. And then it will go through that, that tunnel anyway. So no more DNS leaking out the router here, so it just keeps it all private. Okay, so that's how you can set up your network so that no unencrypted DNS traffic leaves your WAN whatsoever. Anyway, that's just how I did it. You might do it a different way. Of course, someone will complain and bitch and cry because it's YouTube. Anyway, that'll do for now. Till next time, take it easy.